Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 3, and we're, uh, getting near the end of the pit here. The last episode I went and met Asher, and we stole the baby, which sounds bad, but it's, uh, <laughs> you'll see how it shakes out. And I fought my way through Uptown, fighting away the raiders and stuff like that. You can see the slaves now have Uptown. So we're gonna head into downtown, finish clearing them out, and, uh, see if we can ramp this up. It's been actually quite a while since I did this, uh, DLC or expansion, um, helping the slaves. Like I already said, my first series of this, I, uh... Damn it, that's... My first series of it, I actually helped the raiders, uh... That was mostly just to keep the pit alive. I mean, there's still people around when you, uh, help the slaves. But, uh, I think the time before I done the slave route. Anyways, there's lots of, uh... Anyways, it's, it's been a while, that's all I'm saying. one of those guns that's actually like better to use not in bats. It's kind of like a laser shotgun. It's it's not very good uh, far away. Unless you get a critical like that. It's dark. There's blood everywhere. I can't see shit. Jesus. Okay, there's one more lurking somewhere around here. Oh, down. Um. Oh, I don't have my light on. That might help. <clears throat> oh. Thought I shot the slave there. Where is with my waypoint? Isn't Medea here? Slave master. Hmm. I haven't looted all these guys, but I've kind of I'm kind of like almost full on stuff at the moment. Can I release this person now? No. <laughs> it's funny you're here to free the slaves, but you can't release the slave there. Got your baby. Sounds to me like you've stirred up a bit of fuss with the raiders. <laughs> Couldn't have happened to a nicer bunch of murderers. But more importantly, I hear you've stolen the cure. Mind if I see it? Um... I don't feel right about kidnapping. She's gonna be safe, right? Of course she'll be safe. We're just going to do our own research for the cure, and then ransom her back for our freedom. You've seen how Asher and his people treat us. It's far, far kinder than they deserve. Yeah, this is the part where I you, they kind of lost me. Uh, the the slave. It's like you're gonna give a bunch of illiterate people a baby, and they're gonna prod it with needles, trying to find a cure, then ransom it. But on the flip side, you've got these raiders that are enslaving these people and forcing them to do slave labor. So this entire thing is really just a weird gray area. Anyways, as long as the kid's alright, take She'll her. She'll be alright, just not with me. Asher's guards are always watching me. They'd find her right away. Werner sent me word that he's hiding out in the steel yard. He's got everything there to take care of the cure. Take it to him and he'll handle the rest. Now get going. It. Okay, anyways. Go find Werner. You know, I never did kill Asher. He, uh, he disappeared on me. Thought he was going to stick around, but he did not. All right, I know where Werner is. We need to go back through the steel. Oh, wait. I haven't gone through the underground yet. Uh, I'm going to take that route to get there. It's a bit of a shortcut. I forgot. I got the, uh, the key now.
Okay. Need to head back over towards Haven. Be able to go up and over. I think a better, like, conclusion to the entire pit <clears throat> would have been something like getting the Brotherhood of Steel or actual scientists to come back here to help these people. Or something, because you just leave the city to rot and die again in the care of a bunch of people that, uh, aren't gonna... Yeah, anyways. I think you know where I'm coming from. It's like, uh, very unfinished feeling in the the results you never get to really find out about the ultimate outcome and stuff you never find out if the slaves actually find the cure if they actually decide to leave the city and be free or what I mean, you can come back after you finish it and see that they're still just standing around saying they're working on it <laughs> bunch of drugs Okay, should be a button around here somewhere, right? Where is the button? Wait a minute, do I have to come in from the other side? Shit. Yeah, there was another route for this, wasn't there? Where you could, like... Or maybe we had just haven't got there yet. Okay, I'm gonna... I kind of made a mistake here, so I'm gonna... Rectify it. In a not very legitimate way. Is the button in here? I'm just curious where you open this thing at. Or was it up there, just hidden? Hold on. Just pretend that's not happening. Where's the button to open that? There's always a button. They're usually up top. But maybe it was behind the fridge? He opened the damn door. This is weird. Okay, well. Just say we opened it, I guess. I think you're supposed to come from the other way. But I don't see a button here either. Hmm. Anyways. Alright. <clears throat> oh, no. Now it makes sense. Shit. Uh. Hmm. Okay, it's fine. We'll go through here. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought there was some path you take where... ...you kill the, uh, floodlights in Uptown that keep the trogs away, and the trogs swarm the city... ...to take out the raiders. Maybe that's just the end. It's been a while since I've done the pit. Let's just carry on. But I thought I'd already killed all the raiders. a feeling we're gonna be coming back in here so let's not dwell on it too long hello I love this combo of this this helmet and the armor it's like the unique version of the filtration helmet with the uh power armor. Probably gonna use it for a while. Have my my awesome indestructible winterized T51B from Anchorage, but I've been using that for a long time. The only thing I don't like is the it might be because of my FOV. I'm getting some weird artifacts going on in first person. Because I have to I use the console to turn my FOV up to 90. <clears throat> Every time I turn the game on. Hmm. 
Isn't there like a really, really long hallway in here somewhere? Yeah. Full of trogs. Okay, not really, really long, just a, a corridor of trogs. Towards this, yeah, I see that. It's also partly because of the uh, first person camera mod thing. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's get out of here. Go see uh, what Wardar wants us to do here. Requires a key. I have the friggin' key. I have the key, though. I have the key! <laughs> I thought I had the damn. Man, I shouldn't have gone this way. I've got to do all this cheating bullshit. Yeah, I, I didn't remember that correctly. It's okay. It's okay. Please. My waypoint is uh, definitely incorrect. Not sure what's up with that, but it's okay. I know where to go. So up where the Wild Men camp was uh, that I mentioned on the Steel Yard episode, that is where we're going. I actually went into the GEC uh, soon after I started this DLC and uh, changed some things back out by the, the bridge area. Got rid of a bunch of invisible walls and stuff. So I might do some stuff with the mod or make something out there. We'll see. Alright. Ah, you finally made it. I've got everything ready and there are plenty of tests to run. So hurry up and put the brat in the crib. <sighs> the baby's here and she's safe. How will this help the slaves? It means that we can study Asher's bastard. And once we dig the cure out of it, make sure that we all get the treatment. But more importantly, it means we're ready for the last part of the plan. Letting the trogs overrun Uptown and wipe out the bosses. Leaving the slaves free and turning the bosses into trog food. I am having second thoughts about all this, but I'm committed. All right, let's that's finish this. Just stick with the plan, and everything will work out fine. Only thing that's left is to finally wipe out all the bastards in Uptown, and that honor falls to you. I kind of already did that. How am I supposed to do that? Simple. Get someone else to do it for you. And there's a whole city full of trogs hungry to do the job. The only thing keeping them out of Uptown are those floodlights, and I know where you can shut those off. Shut off Uptown's lights, and the trogs will sweep in to take care of the rest. Alright, sounds like a plan. You can get to the power plant from a manhole down in the steel yard. It's near the train tracks. You can't miss it. Head down there and find the floodlight controls. Turn off Uptown's floodlights, and I'll meet you back in downtown's market square. And here, take this. You'll want to stay hidden when those trogs start swarming. Now get moving. Stealth boy, that's all you gave me? Carefully hand the baby over. Okay. Now they want me to go. Just past those floodlight controls, so... Let's boogie back down. I could have sworn it said I picked up a pit underground key. Yeah, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I needed to get that off Asher. I, I don't know. When I recorded this last time, I did like three episodes and I was not feeling very good. So I don't remember a whole lot about what I did. I do remember getting a hundred ingots that because that took goddamn forever. 
It was easy getting the first, like, 94 of them. The last, like, three were... a pain in the ass. That waypoint is broke as hell. It seems like, uh, letting loose the trogs is kind of a little overkill, considering I already, other than Asher, I basically killed everyone out there already. Might have missed one or two, but I doubt it. Oh. There's anything I missed here. Anything worth seeing? One thing I didn't do, I forgot to, um, have a chat with well, I guess it's partly because I meant to betray him. Forgot to have a chat with Asher to get kind of his backstory. He was a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. If uh, for some reason you'd never seen the pit before, heard that. And uh, after they wiped the city out, he stayed behind to uh, rebuild it and look for a cure. But in the process, he decided that a good idea would be to hire a bunch of fucking raiders. <clears throat> Seems to me like if he would have uh, employed some less horrible people, everything in the pit might have turned out a little bit differently. Not to uh, force people to do things for him. Oh, kind of saw that coming. But then again, the Brotherhood was just here to wipe everything out. They had no interest in actually sticking around after and cleaning things up. Which, I suppose, is sort of typical Brotherhood of Steel before Lions. More like Fallout 4 Brotherhood of Steel. Another one lurking somewhere. <clears throat> okay. Let's, uh, let's see here. Let loose this guy. Floodlight controls. And what's this? the hell is this? Broken term. Okay. Alright. Bloodlight controls. Atomic turbines. Okay, terminate the floodlight power. We're gonna have to turn those back on afterwards if we want to, um... If we want to ever go back there. Okay, that opened the door. No wonder there was no button. Okay. Alright, let's turn off our light. And let's uh, hotkey that to 8. See if we can sneak by the trogs. Without having to frag them all. I don't know what the hell they're going to kill though. Oh, it's the middle of the damn day. Wait a minute. That's not good. How does this all work in the middle of the day? They're not going to come swarming. 
Not sure why it didn't tell me to wait till nighttime. Till like nine. Rip my stealth boy. I killed the floodlights, I thought. I should have yep. gunned you down long ago. What the hell is that? Bye, Asher. Oh. Now I get a chance to kill him. Hey, I get some replacement armor. Tell me you guys see me. Asher's key. Is that different from the tribal power armor? It is. It says caution. See, this is where I start wondering if there's even anything here to for the trogs to kill or if they're just going to kind of swarm. Like I said, everything's kind of dead already. They're just gonna see me. My sneak skill's not so hot, even with the stealth boy. Well, let's just leave him be for now, I guess. Oh, there is some baddies, I guess. <clears throat> okay, well. Game decided to crash on me, so. Here we are again. Guess I should have gone up and over, huh? Wonder if I can get by these guys. Apparently. Guess I uh, go through the. Well, it's quicker if I go up here. Points fixed. It looks like it res like more raiders showed up, just so the trogs could uh, so I could watch the trogs attack them. All right, almost there. Success. Nice work, pal. When I saw those lights go down, I swear I heard the trogs laughing. I think I speak for all of the ex-slaves here when I say good riddance to those bastards. May they rot in a glowing grave. <laughs> that leaves me as the new lord of the pit now, as long as the slaves are free and Marie is safe. Yeah, yeah, everybody's happy. Medea says she'll take care of the kid when she's not too busy with everything else. Don't worry about it. We cut a few corners on researching the brat, so we've already got something good to keep down the rads. It's on the house. But the real mm -hmm. wealth of the city is in that steel mill. You'll have access to the ammo press in there, so go nuts. You earned it, kid. So I freed the slaves. Why isn't everyone cheering? It's not that easy. This is still our home, and there's still lots of work to be done. Killing Asher is just the first step. But if you want, you could keep collecting steel from the steel yard. Most folks can't handle it, and the foreman would see you get a reward. And if you really care, Medea said she's looking for toys for the brat. I guess if you find anything, you could bring them to her. But don't you worry about it all. I'll be here to take care of getting the city back into shape. You just bask in the glory, huh? So you're basically just taking Asher's place. Anyways. Improved my life? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, 
All right, I gotta go now. Don't you worry about a thing. I've got everything under control. Yeah, it's kind of the same outcome, isn't it? Just wait until they all become, decide they don't want to work on this stuff anymore and they find some unfortunate other bastards out in the wasteland and now that they all have control, they're like, hey, you're gonna come do this shit for... Anyways, it's a total kind of gray area. But, uh... Yeah. <clears throat> you don't really feel very, uh... Like you really accomplished anything fantastic when you finish this, but... The pit's now free for us to do whatever we want here, if we so choose. Come back here with scrap metal here and there and, uh, make ammo and stuff like that. And... So I'll probably do something with the Haven building in the future. But now, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, these guys aren't dead yet. Didn't even think about that. I don't guess they didn't either. be the last of them. They all got those infiltrators. Partners just walking by. It's like no big deal. Well, not sure where you think you're going there, boss. But I kind of hope you step on a mine I missed on the bridge. Just saying. Yeah, I was, when I was talking about buildings I recognize from real Pittsburgh, that's one right there. That one with the four columns. Anyways. Let's get back to the capital. I removed, uh, like I said, I did some t stuff out here in the GAC. I removed invisible barriers, so if I want to, I can walk all the way down there. There's nothing really to see. Yeah, it eventually ends, you know everything being built up, but it, I think it's cool to check out, kind of, the design of the entire area and stuff. I always wanted to, uh, get into the GEC and, like, really work on this space. And, uh, kind of, like, fill it out, put more places you can go. Anyways, not sure I really got time for that. So, just thinking, we got, uh, we got Point Lookout, and we got Mothership Zeta, as far as DLCs go, well, and Broken Steel. The next one I do will probably be Point Lookout, but it'll be a while. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff I still need to do back in the Capital Wasteland, so I'll probably do several episodes of that. And, um, then we'll do Point Lookout, and then we'll do a few episodes, and then we'll do, uh, Broken Steel, probably. Then a few episodes. Well, we'll have to finish the main story. I'm not sure. Usually how I do it, you know. Some episodes in the capital. Doing vanilla game stuff, and then a DLC, etc. We'll see. For now, let's take this hand car out of here. Home sweet home. <clears throat> well, alright. We're back. We're done with the pit. And yeah, so I'm gonna just go back to Megaton, back home, and um, unload all my stuff. And next time we'll take on some stuff back here. Not really sure what. There's a lot of places I still need to see, obviously. I, what? I still haven't done Big Town and Jer- okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I need to do, that's for sure. I still need to go through vaults. Just gonna have to pick and choose. I still got a lot to see in DC. And anyways, uh, that'll do it. So, see you guys next time. Take it easy.